Thomas was busy shunting. I'll be the most useful. I'll be the best one. I'll huff and I'll puff till the job is well done. Then Thomas stopped. His firebox fizzed. Cinders and ashes. It's Diesel. And he's shunting the Joby logs. Stop, Diesel, stop! Diesel saw Thomas. Stop! Diesel heard Thomas. Diesel. But Diesel didn't want to stop. He wanted to push the Joby logs to the rescue center as fast as he could clatter. Thomas was worried. Diesel is racing too fast. Something bad could happen to the Joby logs. I must chase after Diesel and stop him. Thomas could see Diesel ahead on the tracks. His pistons pounded and pumped. His firebox flared and his boiler bubbled. Stop, Diesel! Stop! But Diesel didn't stop. He rattled and rocked. He wheezed and he whirred faster and faster. Thomas huffed his hardest. Diesel raced and roared just in front of him. I can puff ahead of Diesel after this junction. Diesel heard Thomas. No, you won't, Thomas. And Diesel rattled and roared ahead just before the signal turned to red. But Thomas had to stop. Sparks flew and his funnel flared. I'll never catch Diesel now. Diesel pushed and panted up the hill. Thomas puffed and chuffed far behind. I'm almost there. Soon they'll all know that Steamies are the ones who puff too slow. Then there was trouble. The track wasn't finished. Diesel slipped and he skidded. Stop, Diesel, stop! But Diesel didn't stop. He jumped and he bumped faster and faster to the top of the hill, and then down, 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 to the cliffs and the sea below. Now Diesel wanted to stop, but he couldn't. The heavy flatbeds were pulling him to the edge of the cliff. Diesel wasn't smiling now. Help! Help! But no one could help Diesel. Crash! One flatbed cracked its cup. The Joby wood tumbled and rumbled into the sea below. Oh, me! Oh, my! Oh, help! Then, the next flatbed of Joby logs crashed and smashed into the water. Diesel was now one flatbed away from the edge of the cliff. And then, the last coupling snapped. The last flatbed of Joby Wood sank from sight below the waves. Oh no! Now, Diesel was half on and half off the edge of the cliff. His front wheels wobbled and wiggled in the air. His back wheels were grating and grinding to stay on the track. Thomas screeched to a stop. He was scared. Diesel! What can I do? Diesel didn't know, but Thomas did. He made a decision. Don't worry, Diesel, and stay as still as you can. Diesel did what Thomas said. Thomas tugged, and he chugged. Then, wheel turn by wheel turn, huff by puff, Thomas pulled Diesel back from the edge and to safety. Diesel! Hooray! Thomas had saved Diesel. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. <laughs>